Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood library director, Rosanna, and today we're going to walk through how to register for a library card. The first step is to open an internet browser. Today I'm using Google Chrome, but feel free to use whatever browser you prefer. Once you've opened your browser, go to the address bar and type www.cooperlibrary.com. That will take you to our website. Once you're on the library website, there are two different ways to get to where you need to be. I will show you both today. First, hover over my library account and click on the drop down check my library account online. From here, you can see if you are not registered for library services, click or tap here to register now. Before we do that and continue with this process, I want to show you the other way to get to where we need to be. Once you're on our website, you'll want to click on the icon that says Books, Movies, and More. The icon you're looking for is a circle with the book in the center. This will take you to our online catalog, where we will be able to register for a library card. Here you'll notice a bar that says Library Info, Search, My Account, and Help. We need to hit My Account, and then go to the last option that pops up that says Login slash Register. After hitting Login Register, you'll be brought to a page asking for a barcode and PIN, which you obviously don't have yet. Instead, click on the field that says click or tap here to register now. Confirm that you're over 13 years old, and if you're under 13, all you need to do is have a parent do this process for you. From the drop-down, select Cooper Library, and then enter your zip code. Continue going through the steps, selecting where you live, and then enter your personal information. I'm going to enter my personal information so I can show you what happens if you register for a card and you've forgotten that you already have one. So if you type in your personal information and you get a patron with this name is already registered, that means you likely already have a library card you've forgotten about. Simply give us a call at the library at 334-705-5380 and we can help you navigate this. All right, let's see what happens if I don't have a library card already. already. When you're choosing your preferences, this is how you'll receive notifications from the library about items that are on hold and available for you or when you have items overdue. We recommend setting email address as well as a text. If you're choosing to get text messages, you'll need to select your carrier as it formats your messages differently based on who your carrier is. You can also choose your password. We recommend a four digit number. Once you've completed the process, you'll, say, you'll get this message that says, thank you, your registration has been recorded. You have 30 days to bring a valid photo ID and proof of address to the library. This registration will allow you to place items on hold online, but it will not allow you to use any of our online materials. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and give us a call at 334-705-5380. Thank you so much and have a great day.